Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography and today I have another Lightroom quick tip for you. So, recently I bought a new little pocket camera, um, a Canon G7X Mark II, and when I was first bringing the files into Lightroom I noticed that the colours weren't quite right on it. So, even though I was using the standard colour profile uh, when editing the RAW files, I noticed that the colour was off from the, um, the JPEGs. So, to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, um, here's just an image I'm just going to show you as an example. So, this is the JPEG file, and this is the RAW file. And as you can see, the RAW is much yellower than what the JPEG is, and it actually does not look right. So, to give you another example, here is the JPEG straight from the camera, and then here is the corresponding RAW file. And as you can see on the person's face uh, here, and just, just on the street shot that I took, He's kind of pale and yellow and doesn't well look very well. <laughs> so one of the things you can do is you can actually fix this quite easily in Lightroom by adjusting the camera calibration. So in order to get the proper colors, what you can do is actually use the JPEG as a reference and then visually match the two. So it's not a scientific way to fix it, but uh, you can usually get results that are good enough uh, and it's, it's actually not that hard to do. So I'm gonna show you what to do now. Um, so the first thing you need to do is you have to actually have shot raw plus JPEG. Um, and that way you will have the JPEG files as a reference. And secondly, you need to actually be able to import both. So Lightroom normally, if you have raw plus JPEG pairs, will actually ignore the JPEG. So what you need to do is go up to Preferences and make sure this is turned on. Treat JPEG files next to RAW files as separate photos. Once you have that on, it will import both. So you'll end up with two separate images. So like I have here, here's the RAW file and here's the JPEG. So the next thing you want to do is to hop over to the develop module. So I'm already there. And we're going to use a feature that was added. Uh, actually, I'm not sure when it was added. It was some stage during the six release cycle of Lightroom, um, and that is to use the reference image. So if you you want your JPEG as the reference, so I'm going to right click on this and go set as reference photo. And then over here you want this button. So this lets you set reference and active. So once you select your reference, the next thing you need to do is pick the raw file. So this is now your active. So the active file here on this side is the is what will change when you make your edits here. Um, so as you can see here, there's too much yellow in the reds. Um, if I zoom in here, uh, you can see the colors are completely different. So I'm gonna start by adjusting the camera calibration. Now, I'll notice that I shot this with standard in camera and I'm using the standard profile. So the profile is off. Uh, it should actually be the same, but it's not. So I'm just gonna find the same area. Actually, it doesn't really matter. We're just going to get it roughly in the same area. Um, okay, so I'm going to start by adjusting the red hue, um, and I'm going to say maybe minus five. And see, straight away, that's much better. Um, and I think the saturation's a little bit much as well, so I'm going to turn that down a bit. Um, and there's also a bit too much green here, so I might maybe just adjust the green a bit. And you can see that's actually a lot better, even just like that. So if I zoom back out, you can see the difference. Um, and the other thing I'm going to do is I might maybe adjust the shadows a bit. So maybe plus five here. You can see that. And if you look in kind of the dark areas, uh, it'll adjust the shadows a bit. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's a lot better than it was. So what you need to do then is um, if you want to make any other changes. So for example, I'm going to turn the sharpness up a bit in this because it can actually take a bit of sharpening. Okay, and then what you do is save it as a preset. So, let's go up here and go save, and check everything off. And in this case, I have a, a folder of presets already for import presets, so they're kind of ones I apply on, uh, on import, so I call it setup presets, and I call, I call this G7X calibrated and we want cal process version calibration, in this case, sharpness. Okay, so we just hit create. So now uh, I can turn this off and just go back to a single image. And so if we go back over here to our people shot, again, you can see pale, kind of unpleasant skin tones. But if I go to the preset I just created, you can see straight away that's much better. And again, this shot, 
if I compare it to the JPEG, you can see the reds again are too yellow. And if I go G7, I calibrated. And that's much better. So what you can do then is you can actually, there's two ways you can do it. On import, you can apply that preset automatically. So you can do, apply an import, or you can also save this as default. So, so if you go to the develop menu and set default settings and update the current settings. So that will now apply that to every time you import an image from this particular camera. So that's pretty much it. Um, I find a lot of the times when people complain about a certain camera's colors, um, the issue might actually be to do with Lightroom. I've noticed this particularly bad on some Sony cameras, particularly uh, some of the recent releases. Um, and just a simple amount of calibration um, can help solve the problem. And by using the JPEG as a reference, this is how you can get around that. Uh, it just gives you kind of a good place to start. There are obviously more scientific methods of doing this. You can use a color checker and there are actually ways to create a profile that should match it exactly. Um, but that's probably beyond a lot of people. So if you want to do a kind of a simple visual quick fix, this is how you go about doing it. Okay, so I hope you found this video useful. And if you do, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.